Happy New Year and thanks for joining me, your sports pilot, James Blue, and another exciting edition of Sports Vibe on DNT Work. I pray this new year brings us good fortune and exceeding joy. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after this break. Welcome back. Former world number one Luka Djokovic has returned to Australia after a year of high profile visa ban ahead of the Australian Open. You will remember that Djokovic was deported from Australia for refusing to be vaccinated against COVID-19 in January 2022 and just after a year of being deported from Australia, he's back preparing for the Australian Open. And in basketball, Luka Doncic makes NBA history with 60 points. 21 rebounds and 10 assists, a triple-double record in a win against the New York Knicks. And in Formula 1, Formula 1 has confirmed that the 2023 China Grand Prix will not take place due to the ongoing difficulties presented by COVID-19 situation in China. And in football, Andrew Robertson becomes the defender with the highest Premier League assist in the history of the competition. An assist against Aston Villa saw the Scottish into 54 assists, the highest from a defender and the Premier League history. And another good news for Liverpool is that Liverpool has completed the signing of Kudigapu from PSV. The Dutch footballer was initially linked to a move to Manchester United, who eventually lost him to the arrival Liverpool. The work well done by Angel Van Dijk, who was able to convince the Dutch footballer to join him at the club side. And you will also remember that Gapu scored three goals and he just concluded FIFA Men's World Cup. Adding such a player to the attacking threats that Liverpool portray, all that is needed right now is for them to sign a midfielder that will help them compete for the top four in the Premier League. But the bad news for Chelsea football fans is that their fullback James Reeves has also been sidelined for injury. James Reeves made his return to the Chelsea squad in their win against Barnamont but couldn't complete the match because of the injuries complication. And this means Chelsea fans will be seeing James Reeves play for the club for up to a month. Remember, he was also sidelined because of this injury and couldn't participate in the FIFA Men's World Cup after sustaining this particular injury in their Champions League match against AC Milan. Let's go on a very short break. We'll be right back. Brazil football legend Pele, one of the greatest players of all time, has passed away at the age of 82 after suffering from cancer. Remember, Pele scored 77 goals for Brazil in just 92 caps and he remains the only player to have won the FIFA Men's World Cup on three occasions. Yes, agreed with one of the greatest players of all time. And also in football, Eli Alan becomes the fastest player ever to reach 20 Premier League goals in just 14 games. There has been a phenomenal season for Ireland at Manchester City, breaking records after records to become the first player to score hat tricks in three consecutive home games and now has 21 goals in 15 games. He is the league highest goal scorer with 21 goals. How many more goals do you think Alan will be scoring for Manchester City? Remember, Alan has 21 goals, more than the old Chelsea team who has managed to score 20 goals in this season. Chelsea has been struggling really and they failed to win their first game the 2023 calendar with a draw against Nottingham Forest. Do you think Alan will be able to score up to 35 goals in the Premier League this season? He has proven us wrong that the Bundesliga is no farmer's league. He has scored 21 goals and remember the previous campaign in the Premier League, the highest goal scorer and the Golden Boot was won by just 23 goals. And another interesting player to look out for in the Premier League this season is Harry Kane who has 100% scoring record in the Premier League. His goal against Brightford means he has scored against all 32 Premier League teams he has faced in his career. Another interesting one is the saga around Cristiano Ronaldo next club is over as he joins Saudi Arabian club and Nasri on a two-year contract 
ending in June 2025, we can wish Cristiano Ronaldo the best. He terminated his contract with Manchester United in search for a new club. And as a free agent, he has signed for the Saudi Arabian club, Anastri. And he will be earning a huge sum of money in Anastri. Saudi Arabian club has signed him as their ambassador and also as their footballer. He just wish Cristiano Ronaldo well in his future. And this is the length at which we will be going on this week's edition of Sports Vibe on DNT World. For more news and sports stories, follow us across our social media handle at DNT Work. Enjoy your week and stay blessed. Thank you.